Welcome back everybody and this is a tutorial for building the app okay for your startup so it's part of the uh, launch my startup series but I'm calling this tutorial um, start building your app okay now it's still part of the launch my startup series I'm in Trello just like I said in the previous videos you go to Trello.com Trello is one of those um, tools that you will need to build your mobile app or your web app or your website or whatnot it's a collaboration place where you can literally create user stories and follow them up with Envision app and put them in, uh, in diagrams, okay? And creating flows. So we're gonna start with user stories first, okay? Now, when you create an account with Trello, go to Trello.com, create an account, and then all you have to do is click on Create New Board. I've already done that, it's called Thea Tutorials. So I'm gonna click on the board, okay? And the first things first I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna start with the user story, basically a user. A user is a visitor, okay? So let's call this user a customer. User, customer, and then we're gonna create, um, a user homeowner. The reason why I'm saying homeowner is because right now we're creating, we're gonna, I'm gonna use uh, an app that is based on uh, real estate because that's what, that's, it's not, it's not a complex app and it's not too easy. It's just somewhere in the middle. So, uh, and it does have a lot of different relationships and it's, it's the perfect example to use because uh, you can use the same methods and the same um, uh, processes that we're using here to develop any app that you want okay that you ever wished for so these are the basics and I want to teach you the basics so you can understand what's really behind the scenes in creating uh, all these um, in creating apps you know literally because you know without these user stories without the diagrammatic views without the flow literally your developers will be lost and that's you know trust me it has to come from you so right over here i'm going to add a list i'm going to call it like i said we're going to create a home um uh, a real estate app uh it's not going to be complete of course but i'm going to teach you the basics the abcs right so i'm going to add here uh, i'm going to go here i'm going to create a list okay i just click there i'm going to say user right dash uh, customer all right but actually they're all customers um, um, user customer all right let's just do that we can always change it later when I say user customer I'm talking about the person who logs in your website so you can rent a house okay that's what we're talking about so uh, I'm gonna click Save and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just close this here and I'm gonna click on user customer okay actually no I'm gonna add a card because this is the list of user customer I'm gonna add a card and in the card, I'm going to say something like um, uh, user. I'm just going to hit enter. Okay, just put anything. Hit enter. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to say the user uh, customer uh, sprint. Okay. All right. We're going to say, like, actually, you don't even have to put user customer. You can put, like, the first sprint, the second sprint, the third sprint, but I'm going to say user customer sprint for the purpose of making this really, really simple. Now, over here in the description, uh, let's start with the user has to be able to create an account, right? So, obviously, what's the first step that you do when you go to an app? And if you don't know if you're lost, you can always go find any app that you want and you can see the flow of how it works, okay? The login process. But that's, like I said, the same process that you're doing for the login, you're going to do for many other things in your app. It's not going to be the same, but it's going to be the same idea the same uh, the same process you understand me so you get a user who needs to create an account with an email and password so as a user I can create an account with an email and password perfect uh, password okay great okay I can what else I can create an account I can also create an account with Facebook I can also create an account with with Facebook okay um, so once you create an account with an email and password right you're gonna be able to, you're gonna be able to see to end to, to, to basically uh, the page in the home page is going to be refreshed and you're gonna get a notification that's going to say please verify your account so I am asked. I am asked to verify my account. I'm asked to verify my account with my email. Right? I'm asked to verify my account with my email with an email confirmation. Okay. With an email confirmation. 
where I can click the link and I am redirected back to my home page. Okay, with a notification, with a notification, Ooh. with a notification, sometimes I don't have patience to type, with a notification, success. Uh, <laughs> with a notification, your account has been verified. Okay, great. So enter. So you can, I'm going to just put some uh, spaces here just because um, it's nice to have uh, some spaces. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in a little just so you could see. All right. Now on the next, uh, I need to be able to log in and log out. Okay. I can log in and log out. All right. Okay. And after that, what are we going to do? The profile. I have to be able to see my profile. I have to be able to edit my profile. So I can see and I can edit my profile. And then I'm going to skip some periods here. Okay. I can edit. Yeah, I can see my profile. Okay. I can see my name. My name on the top right corner. I can see my name and avatar 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 on the top right corner of the home page after I log in all right that makes sense right okay um, what else I can reset my password Pass word if I <clears throat> forget it, I will get an email with a link to reset password. Okay. Uh, I can click on the password, <clears throat> I can click on the I am redirected back to the page to reset to enter my <clears throat> password twice yeah <coughs> uh, for confirmation and confirm it okay don't worry about the terminology uh, it's fine what whichever way you explain this it's fine okay so after all that now um, Okay, this we got the basics done, right? You can view, you can log, you can create an account with your email and password. You can log in, log out. You can view your profile. You can edit your profile. Um, you can view your profile avatar, your 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 avatar in the top right corner of the home page. You can view your name um, in the top right corner of the uh, of the home page. You can reset your password. You get a link, and when you click on the link, you get you know you basically redirect back to the page. Uh, of the application to to enter a new, the new to enter a new password and confirm it right <clears throat> okay great so we got that done so I'm gonna click save and now what we have to do is remember we're building an app for people to log in and rent houses or buy houses and for people to uh, log in and upload their their houses so I'm gonna add another card I'm gonna call this user dash homeowner okay great I'm going to add the card and I'm going to click on the card and here in the description, um, let's start with, actually we, we, uh, okay. Because remember the homeowner has a property and this is an asset and this could become something bad if it's not verified. So now that it's not verified, it's just that it's more serious, right? It's more serious. And, and since it's more serious, I can only, let's put explicitly tell the developers here that, the, the homeowner can only create an account if these fields are filled, okay? So I can only uh, create an account with an, with a first and last name, uh, a first and last name, okay? Um, the reason why we didn't put that in the, in, the, in the customer, because you don't want customers to be filling out a huge, massive form. <laughs> 
<laughs> you don't want them filling out a big, huge, massive form to, to, to become your customers, right? You just want to make it quick and easy for them to log in, and then later they can edit their profile. But here, here, this homeowner is benefiting from you, and they really need to have all their details there because your customers will have a really bad experience if, they're, if, you're, if those homeowners, because they're the product, right? If those homeowners are not properly verified. So I can only create an account with the first and last name, okay? Um, an email, email, uh, phone number, okay? Uh, pa uh, phone number address, um, phone number address, password, Okay, so that's that covers that, right? That covers most of it. Maybe I missed something important here, but that's that that's what that's good. So on the next one, I'm gonna say um, basically I'm asked. I am asked to verify verify my email, and I'm gonna put in brackets same same as user customer. Okay. Now I'm asked, I am asked to verify my phone number via SMS, okay? Okay, next, after that, uh, I can update my profile, same as I can update my profile view my profile, I can see my avatar, avatar and name on the top right corner of the home page, right? Okay, so um, that's all, that, 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 that's it. That's what covers the user uh, login and log out. Okay, so I'm gonna click save. Um, so there is two types of users. There's a user customer and user homeowner. And of course, there's a user administrator who's basically the admin, who's basically you, the startup who's basically administering everything else. But for now, we're gonna make this less complex. I'm gonna say user customer, user homeowner. Now on the next tutorial, I'm gonna jump into taking all this into InVision app. So I'm gonna create an account in InVision on the next tutorial, but I do want you to go ahead and create an account. It's free and it's probably the best $30 you're ever gonna spend in your life, uh, well, when it, when it comes to developing apps. But InVision, guys, it makes dreams come true. Uh, InVision combined with Sketch, it makes dreams come true, but for now, we're not gonna use Sketch. We're just gonna take these user stories, and we're gonna come here, and we're gonna create a flow, and after the flow, we're gonna create the diagrams on the next tutorial, okay? So that's it. This is um, create a user story, okay, for the customer to log in, log in, log out, create an account, the profile page, edit profile page, I can see my profile page, and that's it for now, all right? So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I'm really happy that you guys are here with me and watching this. I really hope you guys are following up. I really hope you guys um, uh, get, this, um, get this done, okay? All right, see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.